What is up guys, Seb here, and this is episode 3 of Seb's Second Guide. Uh, right, as you, mas as you may remember, uh, last episode we were at home, and I was starting up the rubber farm, but unfortunately I ran out of saplings. Uh, now, I've found some rubber trees on the outskirts of a swamp biome, uh, which I may have told you before, this is where they're most common. Um, yeah, so right around the border of swamp biomes that's where you'll generally find them so we're just gonna harvest the sticky resin and then cut down the trees and hopefully get some saplings i also saw uh another tree at least one a bit off in the distance um so while we wait for these uh leaves to break and saplings to fall down we can go and get that tree apparently it seems that there is not a lot of sticky resin on these trees for some reason here there's a bit which is quite good let's see if there's any more yeah so this is usually how you would go about um checking if there's any sticky resin on the trees okay uh there wasn't any more than that i luckily made a new set of tools so let's just cut down these trees now, when you have your farm, you're probably not going to cut down your trees unless you're going to replant um, every single time. Oh, it's becoming dark. Because um, oh yeah, if you cut it down, it won't uh, produce resin again. But it will give you new zapl saplings for a new tree. Which is quite good. But uh, yeah, it's basically just your choice. I usually cut them down and then use the saplings to plant new ones. But you can just wait for them to grow uh sapling uh sorry resin again okay so there's one there and as you can see off in the distance over there right there i'm clicking um the control button uh using the optifine mod to zoom in uh yeah as you can see over there there's another uh rubber tree and there are two there three or so apparently over there and a couple there so what I might actually do is just create a small hut uh, where I can run into if something scary happens. It doesn't have to be too big, it's just so that I have something during the night. Or, in case... no, I don't have any wool, unfortunately. I could have made a bed. How we're gonna do this? A cozy little house like this. Right. Um. Quick crafting table to put in there. Unfortunately, we don't have any torches, which is a real pain. And and we we're, we're really 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 far away from home, so I wouldn't actually be able to go. Oh, I'm an idiot. We have coal. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't actually be able to go back and get anything from here. But this is alright. Let's see if we can just make a door. Let's do that. Right. Um, and let's place it down. So that's our temporary hut. Let's just check if there are any saplings. And there were quite a few. So this is really good. Uh, we would just want mainly uh, some sticky resin while we're here and a bunch of saplings so we can go home and make our own uh, tree farm that will actually s s sustain each, uh, itself for some time. Oh, I just forgot to check for resin. Oh god, oh god. I didn't bring a sword. Which was not a good idea. But I think I'll be alright. Okay, so there's uh, some resin here. Let's just take that and chop down the rest of the tree. Ooh, and some resin there. Now, I usually don't use my axe to break leaves um, because I don't really feel that it goes a lot faster. I don't know if it actually does. I don't think so. Um, and yeah, it, it does break quite fast when you use it on leaves. Uh, not not it doesn't break any faster than if you use it on wood, but the leaves break really fast, so that's why. Um, that's chicken. I should probably kill that chicken just to get some. 
uh, just to get some food that I can cook up back at at home. Oh, two creepers! I don't like that. Okay, so let's see. There was a tree over there. Oh, there are actually a lot of rubber trees. I might not bother um, going to every single one of them because it seems that there are a lot. But um, I'll I'll go around, harvest a few, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, um, as you may have seen, I, I was attacked by a lot of mobs and I ended up escaping, uh, luckily. I was down to one heart at one point. Oh, God. Um, yeah, but I've noticed there are rubber trees everywhere here, so if I had to go around and harvest all of them, that would take forever. Uh, but it's definitely not a bad thing. Um, so I'm just going to do something interesting while after I have harvested these trees and killed this zombie. Go away. I don't like you. Into the wall. Um, yeah, something pretty cool to note also because of Tekkit, we have Ray's minimap. Um, if you click comma, you can set a waypoint. You can call it uh, whatever you like. So I'm just going to call mine um uh tons of nah rubber trees and then uh it's uh, set to the current uh coordinates and then using these uh hex values you can change the color of the icon so let's just set it to green for now and then as you can see it will have uh, the name with how far away you are from it. So when I go home, I'll be able to see uh, where and how I will get over here. Now, um, if you click a certain key that you can configure in, uh, if you click uh, period and then in go into key config, you can bring up the the map, the big map. Now, the big map uh, shows you like basically just an area around you, and it's really really useful. I used it when looking for this uh, swamp biome because you can see the colors way different um, so that was extremely useful but also used it uh, also the minimap oh god I used the minimap and that uh, to find out kinda where I was going now I remember my house being like really really far away uh, south west from here I believe no, I was stupid and I didn't set a waypoint by my house and I didn't remember memorize my coordinates but I'm pretty sure I can find my way back um, so I'm just gonna do that it, it, it's gonna take a long time so I'm not gonna speed the footage up because even sped up this would still take up a lot of the video of you guys just watching me walk in 10 times speed um, so yeah I'm just gonna go over there and then I will see you guys when I get back. Yes. Okay, so we are home and we have 10 saplings and 14 sticky resin and a lot of rubber wood, which is great. Really, really good. Okay, uh, so let's just set up the farm that I was going to set up earlier by planting a couple of these saplings. Uh, now, we have a lot of sticky resin for now, but we're going to need a lot more. So, I'm just going to plant a couple and then wait for them to grow and come harvest them later. Because it's a bad idea only to harvest them when you actually need the rubber. Uh, because you, when you need it, you need a lot of it and it's not something that comes quickly. So, it's a good idea to just like 
constantly have a farm that you go out and harvest now and again uh, now I do I do realize that you can plant them two away from each other but we have plenty of space so might as well make it look nice um, it makes it kind of more open less less kind of claustrophobic when they're not planted that close together and then we're just gonna place a couple of torches so that they grow a bit better well that so that they grow also at night time I love symmetry except we can't have it oh, hello zombie man right okay uh, let's go back to the house and do something fun now we have a bunch of rubber uh, and a bunch of rubber wood what I'm thinking is that we should start getting some more basic machines set up. Oh, oh, I really don't. No, 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 no. Uh, no, please don't. If that guy explodes, I'm gonna. No, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. I, yeah, that was extremely scary. I, if that guy blew up in here, we'd probably lose those machines, and that would suck really bad. So. I'm just gonna set up some more light for now, temporarily, because we do not want any more mobs to spawn. Is that like four? Yeah. There. Alright. Ooh, nice. Anyways, um, should probably set a door in this hallway somewhere. Right, so we have a generator, we have a macerator, we have, um, well, we have the, the normal iron furnaces, which are gonna have to do, um, just not that because of the fact that it's going to take a long time to make the iron furnaces, but just that it, we might as well, well use those that we have. Um, I think that's fine. We need a one thing we need is a bat box, um, so that we can store our energy. We're probably also going to need uh, an extractor, which is thinks this thing here. It's scratched like so. It basically extracts uh, rubber from sticky resin and rubber from uh rubber wood and the reason why you'd extract sticky resin instead of just cooking it is it's a lot more effect uh effective and efficient that was actually the word i wanted to use not effective it's a lot more efficient and truly really good right let's see if we can make the extractor actually first uh tree tap four tree taps a machine block and an electronic circuit right so we need two redstone, six copper cables, some refined iron. Let's see, we have the redstone, we have the refined iron, we need two more copper cable and we need, what is it, like s four, uh, four tree traps. So let's just get two more copper cable by cooking up some, some rubber. Two, three, four. Five, six. Right. That'll be enough for like uh, six copper wiring. So that's good. See, again, we don't want to. We want to cook up as little uh, sticky resin as possible. Because if we cook up any more than that, we're going to be less efficient than we can be later. Let's close these doors. Right. Let's just make the tree taps quickly. Um, some wood. I think I just failed at the recipe again. There we go. The recipe actually makes sense once you see it, but like, I keep forgetting it anyways. Um, there we go. Okay, before we do anything, I'm gonna show you something cool, which is called a project table. Now, this is from uh, this is from the Red Power 2 mod, and it is quite useful. It's basically like um, a bit better than a normal crafting tip. Where is all my stone? I don't have any cobblestone. That is great. Um, yeah, it, and I don't have pickaxe either. I'm gonna have to do with like wood tools. Okay, I'm gonna get some stone. Yeah, it's basically like a bit better than uh, a normal crafting table because it can store items. The idea is that you have a bunch of project tables. Yeah, well, it's a cra it's a crafting table with an inventory, so you have a bunch of project tables, and 
then what you do is you put items into it and you kind of set the recipe uh, that it needs to craft after and then it automatically crafts it using the items in your inventory uh, but it's only one recipe at a time but I also kind of like it because um, if you're crafting something kind of big you can just kind of pop it into there and um, oh yeah, you can pop the, the, the materials into the crafting grid and they won't come they won't pop out when you uh exit the inventory they'll stay in there okay now we have a bit of bit of stone uh yeah it, they'll stay in there so it's good when you're building machines and stuff like that right uh let's just see if we can make one of these we need to cook up some stone how's our rubber doing good so let's craft some copper cable So, now we have 10 copper cable. Um, we actually have enough for an electronic circuit now. Oh, just like that. Like this. Electronic circuit. And then I believe we place them... Well, not that one. What, what's, what goes up here, I don't remember. People are probably shouting at me every time I get this. Like, the, the recipe's wrong. But that's okay. Machine blocks, right, so we need more... Oh, that's perfect. We actually have quite a bit of refined iron. Machine block, the uh, four tree taps. Oh, there. And the electronic circuit. Awesome. Let's go put that somewhere in here. Hmm. For now, we're just gonna be. For now, it's just gonna be like ugly and inefficient, but. Well, like. Space inefficient, but. Okay, so it's gonna charge that up with some electricity. Right. Now, if we put the stick and resin in there, uh, it'll extract it, and then you'll see how much actually comes out of it instead of cooking it. So when you cook one sticky resin, you get one rubber. But when you extract it, you get a lot more. Let's just make this project table quickly. Uh, we need a, I think I actually remember, a chest, a crafting table, like some four smooth stone, no, three smooth stone and some more wood. And yep, and yep. So we're going to put a project table out here. There. So as you can see, it has an inventory. Plus, if I wanted to uh, craft something complicated, I just put it there. I can exit the inventory, come back, and it'll still be there. Now, if I wanted to craft sticks, I could just put the recipe there and then just like feed all the wood I want into. And uh, it'll just use take from this inventory to craft that item, and it'll go in your inventory. So it's really, really useful. Enderman has been here. That's scary. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, I believe we have eight. To, we had eight to start with. Uh, now we only have five, so it's taking away three. And you get three rubber from each sticky resin when it's extracting. Uh, so that's three times as efficient as cooking it. Now we have a bunch of tin dust. Let's just go. Oh yeah, I set that to mass rate last time. Let's just cook it up now. A stack is takes eight coals. So let's just put seven in there. And we will have a bunch of tin. Let's oh, we have a lot of coal. But I don't like using the coal, so we're going to have to find an alternative energy source soon. Um, right. Okay, what should we cook up next? Let's... Well, the most useful things are, like, copper. Let's put just a stack of copper in there. And get that macerated. Actually, let's put half. Oh, I just threw an egg. Um, let's put half a stack. That'll macerate it into 64. Right. That's gonna be done soon. Um, I really want to get something a bit more interesting going for you guys. So let's let's make an electric furnace. Let's just get the basic machines over with. Okay. So the electric furnace uses an iron furnace, two redstone, and an electronic circuit. Now we have enough for 
We have an iron furnace. We do not have enough for an electronic circuit, unfortunately, but we have enough copper and enough rubber to make some more wire. So, okay, uh, I'm going to use this. Actually use this project table now. Let us take uh, the rubber. Put it in here. Okay, so now it's a recipe. Now every time I click it, I'll, it'll take out six. Unless if there, if it runs out of items from here, it'll actually take from the recipe. So um, that's what I'm gonna do now. And then just take these things back in my inventory and sort it using R. Right. So now we have some copper cables, and we need to make an electronic circuit. Yeah. Remember when I said that we were gonna be making a lot of electronic circuits? I wasn't lying. It's like half of tech it ever is just making electronic circuits. I'm kidding, but it, it, we, you do make a lot of electronic circuits in tech it. Right, um, we're gonna need an electric furnace and two redstone, which we already have. I'm afraid it's gonna like break when I do this, but it didn't. Right, um, now we're gonna make this electric furnace really quickly. There we go. Beautiful. And let's place it down. You know what? I'm actually gonna like put it in order of applicants. Okay, um now one important thing, you do not break machines with pickaxes. Um it's generally a really bad idea in Tekkit because it will turn into a machine block. Uh which means you lose everything but the machine block that you use to create it. Well, there is a l very large chance that it does turn into machine block. I think it's actually a hundred. Now that I think about it, but um, yeah, okay. What you need is a wrench. There are several types of wrenches. Okay, three. Uh, there's this wrench is the build craft wrench, the silver one, and then you have the copper wrench, which is the industrial craft wrench. Then you also have an electric wrench, wrench, which is also an industrial craft wrench, but is holy cow, there is a an Enderman. I'm not gonna look at him. Um, the electric wrench is also from industrial craft and it does the same as a normal wrench except you can charge it with electricity instead of having to create new wrenches all the time a wrench is used making uh is making <laughs> is made using bronze i believe yeah uh bronze is created using um yeah tin and copper it didn't actually show it there i expected it to but are you yeah that's extremely annoying anyways um Oh, oh my god, zombies are breaking down my door. Right. So the so we need some tin dust and some copper dust. Unfortunately, I think it's cooking the tin out here and I'm not sure if it's done. Please don't be done. We have three. Okay, that's good. Now, it uses one tin dust and three copper dust to create two bronze dust. We're going to need uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. We're going to need six. So let's just feed some more in there. And that's perfect, actually, tin dust-wise. And then you just put it in a normal furnace, and it will create bronze ingots, which you can then use to make the wrench. Uh, the wrench breaks fairly easy, uh, which is why you'd want an electric wrench. Oh, look at that sun sunrise. It's beautiful. Oh, and two of our rubber trees, trees have grown. So that is quite cool. Um... Yeah, let's just see. Is there anything we should throw in here? Yeah, okay. One thing I forgot to tell you guys. Um, pumpkins are useful, but not very useful when uh, when you're dealing with uh, the scientific stuff. But it becomes extremely useful when you're dealing with magic, which I will explain in the future. But like a long, 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 long time from now. See, this is the problem. Um... The generator uses coal extremely quickly, and then we just don't have power to do what we want to do. We need some more wire so that we can connect up. Didn't we have like a surplus? Yeah, we did. Right, uh, yeah, so let's connect up the electric furnace with the rest of the stuff. And then we'll move that over there afterwards. But we really, really need the bronze first. And it has cooked. Let's make the wrench real quickly. Awesome wrench. 
So when you right click, when you left click, it, nothing happens. When you right click, it breaks it as you can see. And there is still a small chance that you'll get a machine block, but it's not as uh, not as big as it used to be. Uh, it's definitely not as big as if you use a pickaxe. Let's place down the extractor. Actually, I want to place it. Hmm. That's a bad idea. Macerator electric furnace. Let's place it in order. Macerator electric furnace and extractor. Now we can dig under and pull the wires from underneath the the machines instead and that was perfect timing. Right, now they'll be supplied with power as long as power comes into the generator. Quite good. Now there is no power right now. Because we don't have solar panels or anything else, which is sad. Extractor go Yeah. So that's all pretty good. Um I think that's about it for now. We have the basics of what we need to just process our minerals um, and our ores. We have a rubber tree farm set up, which is great. And we are, I think we're doing pretty well, starting off Tech It, and our, the landscape is beautiful. Right, so uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. And before I forget it, I'm going to set a marker here, not in some annoying place. I'm going to put it out here. Um, comma, home, and let's make it blue, no purple, because purple's awesome. Uh. Yay. Okay, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please, uh, yeah, do comment, like, and subscribe if you want to, and have a great day. Mm.